Hey everyone, back with a video here for how the bushing press tool works. Been getting some few questions on how this works. So I thought I'd make a quick video. So here's what it looks like. Uh, basically what you do is a bushing. I don't have a roller on me right now, but uh, you, I'll show how it works. So this is inside your roller. You know, and it's all worn out and you can't get a um, anything on it. So what you do is you put the whole roller into a hydraulic press and this tool, you center it on top, there's a little hat on here, or a little a boss or what do you want to call it, to kind of help you center it. And when you, when you press this in your hydraulic press, what actually happens is that little hat or boss on the old bushing gets sheared off and then this will uh, push all the way through your roller. The diameter of this tool is just a little bit underneath the size of the outside diameter of the bushing and the bore that goes through your rollers. So this will press through without getting binded in but there's not much space between the two of these so it will get it'll grab even the most worn bushing so if you only have just a little sliver left that's usually what happens this gets worn down to a little sliver um, and actually this side uh, this one's just a broken one so just ignore that and then you can't get them out so in a press this will get get it out and what you do is you push this all the way through from one side to the other. On the other side, there will be a bushing in this direction in there and both bushings both bushings will or the old bushing, the other bushing, will come down smush onto this one and the tool will just push its way right through and pop out the bottom. Um, it doesn't take actually much tonnage to do this. Uh, I have a 12 ton press that I've been using to do this but I'm pretty sure you could do it with um, you know one of those smaller desktop uh, presses, hydraulic presses, I think they're like 8 ton or something like that from Harbor Freight uh, if you don't have a big one and they're very inexpensive. So I hope that helps answer some of the questions. Um, let me know if you have any more and I'll try to help answer them. Thanks.